Tropical systems can cause rip currents, which are so dangerous that lifeguards often refer to them as drowning machines. Rip currents are strong, narrow currents flowing outward from the beach through the surf zone. They're typically about 30 feet wide and most dangerous during low tide. Sometimes the most dangerous rip currents occur when the weather is good. Large swells produced by storms that are well offshore can create conditions that cause rip currents. For example, back in 2019, when Hurricane Lorenzo was over 2,000 miles away from the U.S., we had sunshine with temperatures in the 80s. It was great beach weather. But Lorenzo generated large ocean swells stretching from Florida to New Jersey. There were seven drownings, four in the Carolinas, including two at Curie Beach. So we still have to pay attention to tropical systems even when they're thousands of miles away. Let's talk stats. Rip currents contribute to 80% of surf rescues in the Carolinas. Here in North Carolina, we average 10 rip current deaths every year. Since 2011, half of the people who drowned were bystanders trying to help someone else caught in a rip current. And 84% of deaths were vacationers. So what can you do to stay safe? Check the rip current conditions before you head to the beach. Swim at a beach with lifeguards and watch for the warning flags. Never try to outswim a rip current. Float on your back or swim parallel to the shore until you're safely out of the rip current. Call for help if you see someone in trouble. And remember, rip currents can be out there even if there's no tropical system in sight.